again, mourning another black sister. From her racist, violent assault by the police to the prison cell where she was found dead only a few months ago. Sarah Reed's story highlights the violence black women are expected not only to face, but to put up with quietly. Let's make some noise to show our solidarity for the women that are still in Holloway Prison. All the abuse that goes on, it happens every single day, day in, day out. On numerous occasions when I was in custody, I was racially abused, I was physically abused. I didn't think when I was in there for a second that there was anybody fighting my corner, but it, it makes me happy to know that there is. Sisters Uncut believe um, that institutions like Holloway Prison um, basically exercise state violence against women. The way in which prisons are set up are sexist, they're institutionally racist, and that has a disproportionate impact on black women, queer women, trans women, and working class women who end up in these institutions. 46% of women in prisons are also survivors of domestic violence. Um, so domestic violence makes uh, women vulnerable to other sorts of social problems. That like 53% of women who are in prisons were abused used as children. Um, now that's deeply disproportionate and it shows that there's something about being abused that's leading women into social issues that then mean they end up in prison. 77 women have died in prisons in Britain over the past 10 years. 77 balloons are on this demonstration. To these women who have died, we remember you. We hear your stories and we will fight for you. And we will fight for every single woman in prison alongside them to make sure that women are protected. Women are acting up, talking about the same thing or constantly doing the same thing to get attention. That is a cry for help. by building a movement, um, by continuing to put pressure on the government and by raising awareness and connecting issues, I think we can realistically build a movement that can win. Well, I hope the women inside um, know that we are in solidarity with them, we support them and um, we want to support them in their fight for a society um, that helps them with their problems as opposed to criminalises them.